Good afternoon. Welcome to Porch Talk with Chris and Laura. I'm Chris. That's Laura. <coughs> Subdued. Go good today. Sorry. All right. Ow! It's How's the... that? <laughs> Ow! It's like you stubbed your toe. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it's cold outside. It really is. I mean, I'm, C-O-D-E like, code. My bones hurt. I'm so cold. Yeah. And it's, I think it's because it's damp and cold. I think so, too. You know, I turned heat up a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm cold too. I mean, I'm fully clothed. It's still like, ooh, ooh. I know, right? Inside. Yeah. yeah this whole house is drafty that? anyway. I'm fine. Good. Actually, I'm very excited. Yeah, me too. We're pleased to announce that we are now officially sponsored by the drum shop. We are. In Tulsa. I love it. It's awesome. It is awesome. Thank mm -hmm. you, Roger. Thanks, Roger and his staff for everything you've ever done as far as taking care of us as yeah. musicians. But now we will have the opportunity to partner with the drum shop and, uh, you know, as a sponsor and do some things together going down the road and all that. So it's going to be kind of fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Yeah. So we will always have drum shop logos. And all of our shots. You know. you know what, though? This is the thing about Roger. Roger's, number one, he's a super nice guy. Yes, he is. He's a, he's a musician. Yes, he is. Loves music. And he believes in porch talk. He really does. We go over there and we sit down. It's kind of like being a porch talk anyway. It or is. Jump shot. Comfy they, chairs. They've got nicer chairs. But, hey, you know, we're working on it. But anyway, yeah. We, well, we, we got us a leather couch yesterday. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Moving on up. Yeah. So this is porch talk from the couch. <laughs> it's just because it's cold outside. It's just cold. We're missing a window. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, kitty. The wonder dog. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, that was our big announcement. We wanted to let everybody know that uh, yeah. porch talk has their first sponsor. <laughs> So awesome. Just some thing that we started filming ourselves talking on the porch has gone to this point. I know. And now we're about to move it to the next level. I love porch talk. Rick Macaruso messaged me yesterday. I know. I'm going to bring my PC out to him tomorrow. Thank you, Rick. You're Big good thanks, man. Rick. Good man. He's just an example of how, you know, the community know. comes together whenever we need each other. We do. So, I mean, seriously, if anyone ever needs anything, do not hesitate to ask. At all. At all. We no. got it. If we, if we don't know somebody, I mean, if we can't do it, we know somebody who could. That's right. We also want to encourage people that don't play musical instruments mm -hmm. to go pick up an instrument. Absolutely. Um, even if you don't want to drum. It you want to play Roger piano. Can, you want, can help you get want to sing. Other things, you know. You know if, you're, stuff. if you're a guitarist and need guitar strings, right. he can order, you know. And, you know, or, or send you on to somebody who can. No, or refer you direct person. Yeah. Yeah, so Roger so knows it's a great everybody. deal. So, yeah. It's wonderful. Very nice. That's not the only announcements we have. No, it's not the only announcements. We've got some announcements. other stuff going on. Okay. So, we do have a significant amount of messages from some of our viewers about different categories that they would like to see in the Schwab Awards. Schwab? Schwab? And, of course, we went over four of the five con contestants that we already had put together in Best Hair category. Right. And that would be Steve Murdoch. Um, Rick Glory's Hair. Rick Glory's Hair Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Preston Hayes, Mike Gullick, and I think we've added Brian Tipton to that now. Right, but we want to give a mention to But we got an honorable Joe, mention Joe for Joe, Poe Jerry, <laughs> Joe Perry, and Royce Buckmaster. Absolutely. For, for Bellas. Best Hair. Man, you make me jealous. Make me wish I had my long hair again. And and we might have to add some more people in. We might. We might have to make that a ten. In, hair in is metal. important. In, in the music scene, period. It, it could be a ten person category. Who knows? It so could be. Who if there's knows? if there's someone that you want to you know nominate for best hair, then you know yeah. send a pic or or something. Message us, and we'll uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll get them added. Right. Yeah. But we've also got some new you know some new suggestions. Some new we groups, do. So. A lot of categories. One of those categories is best fans. I love this one. Now, this is not one band's in particular super fan. No, this is the 
those fans that get out there and they go to sometimes two and three venues a night, mm -hmm. seeing different people. That's great. They're at a lot of open jams. You know, they, they get out some there. Some are musicians, some aren't some musicians. Are, but but just super fans. Yeah. And they need to have fans some because it's people like that that pay money to come see people like myself and others play. Right. It's a reciprocal relationship. It is. And we truly feel that that's an excellent suggestion for a category. I think and so. And we too. named six right out of the gate. We did. We're not going to say any names. We're not going to say any names in that. Because we want to hear what people think too. But yeah. yeah. But we it's, will, a good, it's a good category. We will start on the Facebook page, you know, in just a, a, a normal post. Yeah. Start putting down, you know, the Schwab category award nominees yeah. so that, you know, they can be voted on. Well, the thing about the fan category is that, you know, musicians, in my opinion, are only halfway there unless you have fans. That's what makes it. That's right. And for fans, you know, music can be everything to us. So, yeah, it's a good category. Yeah. Okay. Another category is going to be Best Beard. Oh, this is a good one, too. Yeah. We got a few right off the bat. We got, we got five right out of the gate. Yeah. And yes, Garrett. Garrett, you're on there. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> His beard is so epic. It's pretty awesome. Um, best merch, like we mentioned. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and that's not just, you know, you got a cool sticker or a cool no, shirt. It's got to be. It's the merch package. Availability. Availability and the amount or the number of different things that you yeah. have available. So, you know. Not just a cool logo. We want to see a lot of stuff. That is correct. Yeah. Um. Best venue. I like this one too. Now, this isn't your Brady's, no. your BOK, or your Canes. No, because those are, that's different. Th those are big. We're talking about our bars, our taverns, our, our bars, even taverns, our dives. It doesn't venues. matter. Yeah. Venues. And we've got some good suggestions already. Yep. So that'll be good. And we've gonna, we're going to also have uh, Best Open Jam. I love that as one a category because we talk about open jams a we lot do. and we do. attend some. Yeah. And <clears throat> I'll tell you what, Wild Hogs is giving Utopia a run for its money right I now. I hear that. Yeah. And we haven't been over there in a while. I've so. got the double R saloons in that, too. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, we're going to, you know, name all those out. Right. Um, most likely to destroy a venue. Oh, well, <laughs> we know who that goes to. Right now, there's only one person in that category. Yeah. Bloodletting of fire. And That's you know right. who you are. Solo Joe. <laughs> Let me just say... I don't ever want you to change. Just keep being your crazy self. I love it. Yeah, you, I don't know how anybody else can top him. Sorry, if you, fellas. If but you've set fire to a stage or he's tried to... in every bar in Claremore. <laughs> every bar. For he life. can't go for life. And a few here. So, yeah, yeah. If you know someone that is pretty likely to destroy something, let us know. Absolutely. We'll add them on the list. Yeah. Um, cleanest cut, you don't belong in a band, but you still rock or shred. That, that's a pretty good category. That's a good one. Because I've seen, even played with some guys that are like. I know. Where did you come from? Right. And my best example of that would be Pete Webb. Absolutely Pete Webb. He's a dad. He's a family man. Yeah. He's up on stage and he's crazy. Yeah, we, I love it. And, <laughs> I love it. In January when we played, because yeah, I had met Pete in the, at the November show when we mm -hmm. played in November with him. Right. And then we played in January again, at both at the Vanguard, I too. I know. And <laughs> we, mm -hmm. Pete was there and he had his glasses on. I didn't even recognize him. I, I didn't. He was behind the table, stooped down. I'm like, who is that dude? Pete? Glasses He's like, off, hey, on what's stage. Up? Yeah. Anarchy. Take his glasses off. He's a whole Untuck jet. his shirt. I know. Rough his hair up a little bit. And gets on stage and he's a freaking madman. He is. He goes to town on those drums. I love it. It's intense. Yeah, it's punk drumming on top of it that. Is. So it's fast paced. It's high energy. So good. His face is priceless. His face is so good. It's awesome. Oh my god. But he gets back. He gets he's off stage. Like starting a war of metal. <laughs> I love it. And then, then they get done. He gets off stage. A metal war of punk. I'm sorry. And then, hey, Pete. Hey. hey. How you doing? Let me show you pictures of my kids. <laughs> it's so great. It's, adorable. it's so great. I love it. So, yes. I love it. Pete, you're included in that category. You are. 
And I think the, the best one that we had was a suggestion that elder statesmen with pizzazz. I love this. Yeah. And, you know, for myself and for a lot of musicians in my generation, the generation before me, um, they are the elder statesmen of music in this town. Absolutely. And if you don't know these guys, you, you need should. to. You should. That's right. You know, and these guys make, they make some of us look stupid. Oh, yeah. You know, they're, I mean, they're, they're so phenomenal and they're all super great guys. Yep. I mean, they're just great guys. Sure, you got some musicians around town that are old and cranky and cantankerous and yeah. probably should just be left alone or just stay at home or the other. Right. Well, for the most part, the majority of our elder statesmen in this town, they're going to jams. Oh, they're yeah. still in bands. They're out there, man. Getting it done. Billy's everywhere. Billy Burns. He's everywhere. And Billy, you know, I love you so. He's such a wonderful man. I just love him. That was He's a good such dude. a great guitarist. One, one of my nominees for that category would probably be John Mabry. Yeah, agreed. So. That man. Every time he drums. gets up at a jam at Utopia and I get up behind him on the drums, it makes me look like I don't Puts even know what the hell I'm shame. doing. Everyone. Everyone. Put your son to shame. Puts my son to shame. It's awesome. It is awesome. You know, then he's posting on Facebook about, oh, yeah, I'm jamming. Get it done. It's like. And I've been tired for a week. Right, he's out there doing it. So, yeah, special thanks to our, uh, yeah, you know, for the guys that have gone on before, and have, have tread, the, still doing it. tread the track and still doing it, and you know, for the guys coming up behind my generation, these guys are not the guys you want to talk to. It's those guys. That's that's right. They know what's up. They do. They do. They know what's up. Yeah. So. If you've got any more, you know, suggestions for the categories, please send them to us. You know, you message the uh, Facebook page. Uh, I believe the handle is at Porsche Talk Tulsa. Well, that's not on Twitter. That's the Facebook. You know, if you need to send something at Porsche Talk Tulsa or just Porsche Talk with Chris and Laura. Yep. Yeah. So other than that, I think we're, uh, we're going to get a small contingency of people together. And try to go hit the show tonight. Yeah, Pawn Shop Heroes, we're coming at you. My mama promised me that, I did. you know, it's a free show. It's only just like two miles down the street. And she promised that she'd take me to the Pawn Shop Hero set since we're, since we're not going out of town this weekend. Yeah, we're going. So we're going we're gonna to roll on down there and hopefully even get an interview with the guys. That'd be I good. hope so. Yeah, interesting like cats, that. man. Interesting mm -hmm. cats. Yeah. We've also got the Decomposed and Killer Hearts there as well. And, uh, be a fun show. Yeah, it will be. And then you know, there's a lot of other stuff going on. I think. Uh, Young Public and uh, Chuck and. Fists from Wichita. Fists from Wichita. And Billy Renee. Billy Renee's. Um, um, Hard Truth, Bright Tip Display is going to be at Wild Hogs tonight. There you go. Um, there's a show at the Hunt Club. Show at the Hunt Club. I'm sure there's a show at the Vanguard. I oh, don't know yeah. what I don't it know is. Oh, yeah. I forgot to look. There's just a gaggle of stuff. Go to your. You know, go to the events. Yeah. Pages, uh, you know, or whatever on your on your Facebook There's feed. There's plenty to do tonight. Plenty to do tonight, but just be safe. And the DTL's got a thing going. Yep, I was going to say that. And yeah. Dustin Wade's got an acoustic show that he's adding some people on it. This is the last night of the Downtown Lounge. Yeah. It now is. it's going to be open until April first. This is the last. This show. is the last show. Period. And if you guys are out about downtown, go stop by there. Yeah. Give them a good send off. That's right. We're going to miss that venue. Go go buy Jake a shot. Tell him thank you. You know, send him a message on Facebook. Tell, tell him you. thank you. You know. Yeah, it's a good venue. How however you can, if you're a musician in this town, and you've played at the downtown lounge, and are appreciative of what Jake, his wife, and the staff there uh -huh. at the DTL have done for us as musicians, go say thank you. Yeah. It's the the end of an era. It is. They've been open. I've been doing that for what, eight years? I think so. I think so? Yeah. Something like that. So, yeah, last Sunday there were some tears in the eyes. Yeah, that's You know, right. and looking around, it's like, man, I'm going to miss it. I know. You know, I'll miss it. Yeah. But, needless to say, you know, things do change. They do. And uh, we're excited about change sometimes, and mm -hmm. sometimes we're not. Right. So, you know. Well, everybody have a good weekend. Be safe. Yeah, this is kind of a, a you know, a mold down version of the porch talk. I, I just 
you know, it's cold and we, <laughs> we're like, <"Grr." laughs> well, we don't usually do it on a weekend. Yeah, but we especially wanted to share the fact that that uh, and say thank you to Roger and the staff at yes. the drum shop uh, for their sponsorship, of Porch Talk, for believing in us because we believe in them. We do. You know, I'm not taking my money anywhere else for drum equipment to then to there. Okay. And one of us has to go to the bathroom, so we're gonna make this quick. <laughs> hey. You don't have to mouth it to me. Everyone to know, but thank you for telling everyone. Well, everybody, I've got to pee. Wrap it up, big guy. Have a good weekend, everybody. Shwap, shwap, and I'm getting ready to knock his teeth in. <laughs>